If you want to start new or return back to EverQuest, this is your chance. Welcome back, I'm Ian, and I make content about EverQuest. Let's get on with the news. For EverQuest 1, it said they're going to be releasing progression servers, plural, in May, so I'm assuming that means two, that's what they've always done. But there's no news yet on what the rule set will be for those servers. But if you'd like to hear a discussion about what should those rules be, check out my last video right here. The next piece of news is there will be a 64-bit upgrade coming in February. This is supposedly going to solve the number one reason why people crash in this game. And this is also supposedly going to improve performance on your side of the game as well as on the server side of the game. So maybe less laggy, maybe quicker zoning for that matter. I'm curious to see what's going to happen with that. And lastly, they are talking about making a new user interface. We're updating it for that matter. People have been asking for this for a long time. So it's nice to see that they're gonna do that. And now for EverQuest 2, they are also going to be releasing a progression server in May, but we actually have details about it. It's gonna be called Varsoon. It will be a free trade server. So you'll be able to trade usually no drop items and the rule set will be similar to the last one that was released to Kaladin. Here's the thing about this server. It is usually three to four years when they release these progression servers for EverQuest 2. This is your chance. If you've ever wanted to play EverQuest 2 or you've been curious, wanted to return, get in on this server before it's too late. And the last one is an experimental server, but I like where it's going. So this is gonna be releasing on February 22nd and it's called the Kale Drackle server. This is the description. We've heard over the years that sometimes when you or your friends take a break, it's difficult to catch up and play with your friends. We've also heard that sometimes you want to experience older content without it being easy. We hear you loud and clear, and this is why we've created a brand new way for you to play. On Kayla Drackle, you will start at level 90 with a full set of level 90 gear. As you adventure through the lands, you will be level scaled to levels appropriate for the zone you're in, making content that you normally would have been out leveled for relevant once again. I like where this is going with this because this sounds a lot like the patch that saved Elder Scrolls Online that revitalized that game called the One Tamriel patch. And what that patch did, so right out of the tutorial, you'll have the freedom to go anywhere in this game world, play any content in any order you like, your character will automatically scale in level and balance to the content. And also high level players will be able to group with friends who are new to the game or lower in level and it will still scale and be appropriate. I don't know if EverQuest can implement a system like Elder Scrolls Online did, but that would be huge for EverQuest because once these servers get far enough along where most people are at level cap, it's a ghost town for new players. It really stinks. And if there was a reason for higher level players to group with lower level players, that would be amazing to see. That's all I have for this video. Thank you all for watching.